What you are looking at is the erupting crater of a volcano which produced a deadly eruption on December 3rd, 2023. You can see a growing viscous lava dome producing ash emissions and occasionally small explosions which eject fragments of molten rock. This activity is all occurring at Indonesia's Marapi volcano located on the island of Sumatra and not the similarly named Marapi volcano with an E in the name which exists on the island of Java. While Marapi's summit technically rises to an elevation of 2,900 meters, its actively erupting vent and the site around which all recent eruptions have occurred is located at an elevation of 2,650 meters above sea level. This vent is located within a series of complex craters that extends along a 1,650-meter-long lineament which itself exists just west of a Pleistocene age caldera. The erupting crater is located at the eastern end of a larger and shallower crater called Bongzu Crater, and so you can get a sense of scale in this footage, the erupting crater measures 240 meters or 787 feet long and 200 meters or 656 feet deep. All drone footage utilized in this video was taken by Explorer West Sumatra, who I want to thank for granting me permission to utilize this footage. As the drone approaches the mountain, we can see the vegetation become increasingly gray due to the presence of increasing amounts of ash which at the time this footage was taken had all been deposited in the last 10 days. While some people have suggested that the ongoing eruption might have a composition of basaltic andesite, this is not actually the case. Sumatra's volcanoes are almost always andesitic, and a sample of ash taken from this eruption was analyzed, confirming an andesitic composition. If you want to be specific, the eruptive products could be considered mid-range silica andesite. Continuing up the mountain, we see a small mushroom-shaped plume slowly rise, having been generated by what was likely a volcanian explosion caused by a small portion of the growing lava dome being destroyed. One kilometer from the erupting vent, the ash deposits are likely more than two centimeters thick, hence why no grasses are visible. As we fly over the edge of the westernmost section of Merapi's crater field, we can not only see the rims of older, now highly eroded craters, but also a small ravine carved by the 170 inches or 431.8 centimeters of rain this volcano receives each year. The ravine is about five meters or 16.4 feet deep. Finally, overflying the erupting crater, a white plume becomes visible alongside revealing that the crater got shallower due to its most recent ongoing eruption. This plume is rising about 500 meters above the active Verbi crater. Within the erupting crater is a 30 meter wide andesitic lava dome which just barely pokes above a combination of debris, ash, and pyroclastic flow deposits formed by the ongoing eruption which filled a section of the crater to be 100 meters or 328 feet shallower than it was beforehand. The gray colored rocks within the darker and finer green mass represents ejected bombs of distinguishably gray andesite lava. In the crater walls, you can note thick white patches of material. These represent past times when Mount Merapi either 1. erupted high silica trachea andesite or dacite lavas and ash, or 2. represent white pumice from a past more explosive eruption. Note how right before small sections of the lava dome are expelled as bombs of material, gas emissions notably increase due to their lower viscosity. Every time a section breaks, the pressure building underneath the viscous lava dome is released, creating what is known as a volcanian eruption. You can sometimes even see the lava dome itself expand right before material is released and then subsequently contract almost like it is breathing. This lava I estimate to have a viscosity 5 million times higher than water, which means it has a similar viscosity to a caulking compound. As a final note, I would like to thank my new YouTube channel member, Justin Arnold, for supporting this channel.